Hello guys, welcome to the second lesson of my five lesson guitar course. Uh, today we're going to be learning the C major and also how to strum with the pick. Uh, so this is a pick, as you can see. Uh, first off, we're, I'm going to teach you how to hold it. So I'm left-handed, you're going to probably do this in your left, right hand, but you need to create something like this with your hands uh, then you place the finger pla place the pick here and hold it with your thumb uh, you don't want the pick sticking out too much like this you don't want it to be sticking out not enough like this because that will affect your strumming uh, so you want to find something in between something that suits you you will see when you start strumming with it and when you start playing with it. Uh, so first of all, uh, you will need to mute the strings to practice the strumming with a pick. How to mute the string is, is take your palm and put it over the strings. Don't push the strings, just put them over. It will create, it will make the strings mute. You see? Also, what we're going to be learning now is that you can also strum up. So you you want you want to practice this. So we go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You see. So take some time to practice that. Pause the video and then continue the video. Uh, so playing. C major is not that hard. C major is a little bit harder than A minor and E minor, but it will not create any problems for you. Uh, so what you want to do is also put, like in A major, put the index finger over here on the first fret of the second string. Take your second finger, the middle finger, and put it on the second fret of the fourth string and take your third finger and put it on the third fret of the fifth string now like I said before you need to hold the strings quite hard you need to push them down uh, so, so when you do that and when you get comfortable with the placement of the hands and everything you want to and don't worry, in the beginning it will sound a little bit muted, maybe some strings will buzz and everything is totally normal. Happens to everyone, happened to me, it will probably happen to you. Uh, and also a little trick for moving on to this chord quite fast is, for example, if you're playing A minor. It, yes, you can see these two fingers are already in the same position. so. What you want to do is just take the third finger and put it here. You see? Uh, also, you need to learn how to uh, change from this chord to other chords, uh, with, which might cause you some problems. I know it did cause me some problems, but uh, you'll get used to it. As, as with every chord, you will get used to it. In the beginning, it will be hard to change from. For example, F to C or something like that, or from A to C, it will be hard for you at the beginning. But you will get used to it. It happens to me whenever I learn a new chord, it is quite hard to learn how to change it quite fast. So, a little practice is also just switch over these chords switch over from A minor to C to E or from E to C for A or from A to E to C it doesn't matter what matters is that you practice switching from them and you, you need to get it down you need to switch them quite fast so for example uh, you can also add some up and down strumming
so this is a strumming pattern of the song we're going to be learning next time uh, when we learn the G, the G major chord uh, and yeah that's it for this lesson practice and I'll see you in the next one